Hey church, today in Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 through 4, Paul is talking to those who have been raised. The Bible says, so if you've been raised with Christ, so he's talking to those who claim to be Christ's followers. And he gives some very clear instruction that we should be seeking things that are above. We should be setting our hearts, our minds, our actions, our thoughts, everything on things that are above and not dwelling on earthly things. And that is something that's hard for us to do sometimes. You know, it's easy to get caught up in the things of this world. It's easy to get caught up in our trials, our, our situations from day to day. It's easy to get possibly distracted by something that seems like truth, but it's not that the enemy would want to use against us. But Paul is telling us, fix your mind, fix everything about you on things that are above. Why? Because we've died to that old self. We've died to the world. And he says here that we are hidden in Christ. What a beautiful thing. He also says that when Christ appears, I love the way he says, who is your life, who is our life, one day we will also dwell with him in glory. Now this passage immediately makes me think of one of my favorite songs, a hymn called Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus which does the same thing as this passage. It's just a reminder to fix our minds, our eyes on Jesus, and the things of the earth will slowly fade away. And so today, where you're at, maybe it's the morning time, you're getting your day started, or maybe it's in the evening, whatever the case, can we just be still for a moment and dwell on the scripture through song? And if you feel led, just say, right where you're at, sing with me. But maybe you close your eyes and you just fix your mind on Jesus today. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strange. Be dim in the light of his glory and his grace. Sing again. Sing, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strange. In the light of his glory and his grace. Oh, in the light of his glory and his grace.